Hey YouTube, what's up? This is the Reluctant Nabi back again. News and views. Views on the news. Yes, I have to pay to play the space age, space age stuff because this stuff is just off the chain. But then again, you had the dude that has, that's been asking for it. He's the one that helped create these monsters. Now he has to deal with the consequences. Oh, he's dealing with more than that, isn't it? Man, his wife turned out to be a drug lord. Now this? Whoo! I would like to say I feel for you, Steve, but I just can't reach you. Steve Harvey is now having troubles from the very women he sent for. All right. And shout out to um, Tai Chi 29. Thanks for this one. This is some craziness. But I'm going to show you why this is kind of crazy. But not for the obvious reasons. So you see the woman in the background here. There is more to this than, than you know. And this woman feels entitled. This woman is feels entitled to not people not having an opinion on the evil that she chooses to do or wrong that she chooses to do or anything she chooses to do. They're not allowed to have an opinion. All right. And so this is where we are on this. They are not allowed, people are not allowed to have an opinion when the BAW is doing some ratchet stuff. And if she goes anywhere, they're, pro they're supposed to use witchcraft and make her into something she's not a good woman, which obviously she's not. So let's take a look at this story. But first, let me greet everybody. Havord and Hardu, Gudak, Ola Oi to the Bang versus Los. Bonjour mes amis, quest Bawani que vous Ni hao ni ama. Sani bonani. Jambo habari gani. Assalamu alaikum and shalom. Alright. And before um, we get started, everybody, please share the videos. My videos are hardly being shared. They're being shared, but not. I'll put it this way. There are more people sharing other people's videos from other channels on my channel than there are people subscribe to my channel sharing videos all right so let's just change that real quick all right and this is the shout out to the subscribe to my subscribers and to the people that love my channel Let, let's share the videos um like subscribe and comment y'all's comments are priceless all right so let's keep up the comments and when you subscribe click that bell to donate my PayPal me link will be in the description box. I think you might need to have PayPal to donate, but I'm not sure. All right. So basically, share and let's donate. Or you might need to do that on a laptop when you click. I don't know. Some people are donating and some people are not. So I got one or two donations within the past couple of weeks. So... And that's pretty good for this channel. I think maybe three. I think I got maybe three. So that's pretty good for this channel. Because we don't get much. But think about what I am able to do with the little that we get. And so let's try to pick those up if possible. And I realize it's going to be difficult for most of us brothers. All right. So that's why I don't push that too much. All right. So I'm cool with it. Now, let's get to the problem at hand. Now, the talk show. Steve Harvey has a talk show. And this comes by way of MTL News. Steve Harvey and the producer of his talk show were just slapped with a $2 million lawsuit. Lawsuit. A lawsuit. A woman claims that the 61-year-old Steve Harvey and his company allegedly tried to give her a slutty image. 
right. Um, right now, my hand is over my head, trying to hold back a headache from reading that, especially after seeing what this woman was wearing out in the public. Oh, and that's not the only information. That's that's kind of who she is. Her family, friends, and mother was on this show too. All right. This woman is going to take this to court. Think about the image that she's going to have after his lawyers get through with her based on what happened at this show. All right. The thing is, he changed her image, how she looked on the outside. However, she still remained the same monster that she was on the inside. All right, so let's get some understanding. The woman who works as a fitness model, she works as a fitness model is a single mother that appeared on the episode of Steve's show. Okay, fitness model, that's what she told them. That 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 was fitness modeling when you saw the pictures at the beginning. The episode aired April 2016 and Dominique Collier, that's the name of the woman, says she had responded to a casting call for a single professional for single professional women who like to show off their looks. All right, and so this is basically it. Single professional women who like to show off their looks. So they only ask for a single professional, but she, I guess this is a profession, and but she's a single mom. Oh, we'll get that. We'll get into that as we go through this. All right, when Dominique arrived on set, the producers allegedly told her that the show would highlight her being a professional single mom, balancing the life as a fitness model. Right? But that's not how it all went down. They over they actually showed the truth. Dominique showed up wearing a conservative outfit, long sleeve blouse, and a pencil skirt. But she claimed that the producer put her in the halter top and form-fitting skirt. Okay, why did they do that? Because they looked at all the pictures that she posted on Facebook and Instagram. And the thing is, this was supposed to be a transformation show. And they transformed her from what she usually wears into what she probably should wear if she has a child and if she wants a good six feet well anyway in other words witchcraft they practice witchcraft all right so basically this is how it goes down pay attention to this all right this is steve harvey just one more thing I needed my space age music because it's kind of hard to believe that these women just don't have a clue. I introduced you to Dominique. She was a single mom. All right, she came to the show conservatively, but the show was able to pick up these pictures of her. All right, so that's the real Dominique. That's the real her, and she tried to bring her fake her on the show, but the researchers that can look on Instagram see that this is the real Dominique, a single mother, probably a thug, uh, a thug produced child, all right, and the woman that reg relishes in being a single mom, and the, and the guy here that helps them to do that and give them a pass every opportunity. Not only give them a pass, but try to lift them up for it. Oh, whose family and friends came out and said she just dressed too sexy. Her family and friends said she dressed like what the uh, rest of the people in the audience thought. All right, he was being kind. Her family and friends were not. 
We all agree. Now, all now, this is when they sent her back to change. And the people were not commenting on how she appeared when she first came out. She appeared as who she was in these pictures. All right. And so he transformed her to give her a date with a an available man, because that's what this whole thing was about anyway. Offered her a chance to change her look, to have a date with the guy that I handpicked for her. Family, are you all ready to see the new Dominique? Yes. yes. All right, Dominique, come. All right. So she makes her appearance. All right. So we're going to um, we're going to see this much closer. All right. So pay attention. Keep in mind. Keep this in mind, y'all, that the lawsuit, the lawsuit, the lawsuit stems from an audience poll that asked about Dominique Kears, Dominique Kears appearance. And the responses included, well, you see the responses, ratchet and daddy issues. Now, this was not only a blight on her, her, but her mom too, when they said daddy issues. Because her mom that raised her to be trifling like this was probably a single mom. And now that her mom was up in age, was like hoping that her daughter just wouldn't follow in her footsteps while there was no good example for her the daughter to lead into. Her mom didn't feel like that men were not necessary. So she feels like a man's not necessary in her child's life. So she walks around the street like that because she don't no man she don't want no man checking her. All right. She felt she says she felt demeaned and was backstage crying when Steve Harvey walked up and handed her the clothing she arrived in, including her bra undergarments. Hold on. So she felt demeaned and was backstage crying when Steve Harvey walked up, handed her the clothing she arrived in, including her bra an undergarment. You know why he handed her those? Because he just gave her some new clothes. Dominique said she felt sexually harassed. She didn't say that she was sexually harassed. She said that him handing her her clothes because his show brought, bought new designer style clothes for her redid her weave because it wasn't her real hair she felt that that was sexually significant how but she's a black woman so in the age of me too they could feel like anything is sexual harassment anything and all he did was hand her her old clothes because she had on new clothes. She's suing the father of seven, Steve, the show's production company, and Endemol Shy and NBC for at least $2 million. Now, y'all see what's, what's happening here. She was never hurt. She walks out in public like this. She posts pictures up on Instagram and all over the place. This woman is so out there in the public for being like this. Think about it. That she should be thankful to this dude for trying to flip the script. Hold on. It's deeper than that. All right. It's really deeper than that. As we get into how the mother felt. 
Pay attention to this. Now, this is on the show after she comes out in this yellow dress. This is how the mother felt. My baby. That, oh, that's your baby now. <laughs> Happy birthday. She said, that's my baby. Happy birthday. <laughs> Got the Chocolate. little birthday dress on. You thought she was crazy a little while ago, didn't you? Yeah. But yo Remember, you thought she was crazy a little while ago. Mama was so mad over there. Your mama was. <laughs> Her mother was so angry. Think about this. <laughs> I ain't seen none of these pictures. <laughs> well, Dominique, how you feel? I feel like a Barbie doll. I look really good. I like it. Notice she feels like a white doll. She feels like a white doll. She is a black woman that feels like a white doll. Well, that's the epitome of excellence for a black woman to feel like something white, to be with something white. That's the epitome of excellence for them. Until they realize that nobody else in the world consider white excellence. They don't consider what being white excellence. What they think is white people got the money is because they're running the systems that hand out the money. They think that the white people are crooked in general have bad governments, but they're the ones that control the money. Oh, and they could blow them to smithereens by putting their finger on the button. They think they're epitome, the epitome of a lot of things, but excellence is not any of it. Only some African countries and the black American women consider that excellence or Barbie doll. Okay? Now let's finish. Are you ready to meet your date? Uh, yes, I am. Well, Mike, come on out. Now this gets weirder. All right, because his date, her date, Steve hand picked. Steve hand picked her date. So check out the date that Steve handpicked for her, a single mom that dresses like a 304 all over the internet, that um, the son is going or daughters are going to be able to see if they're not already seeing her on the internet. And she's making money off of stripping down, right? So what standard of man is she dressing for and then what standard of, um naturally in her house in the street every day who who is she trying to attract yeah we know this thugs a white man because she's dressing like the 304 thought that she probably is allegedly and we're alleging this because how you make yourself appear on the outside black woman is an indication of who you are on the inside if you're not thinking that in your head coming out in the street like that then you wouldn't dress like that women who think about something differently like women who think i'm gonna be hotep you you see them come out with ankas the long dresses with things wrapped around their head I'm an Israelite. They come out with things wrapped around their head, long white dresses or purple or whatever, and they have no um, ornaments on. Okay? Because so, that they dress the way they think they are. It don't matter that they are or not to the fullest. We don't know if the um, Israelite woman is actually reading the Bible. We don't know if the Hotep woman actually knows anything about Egypt outside of with some um former thug told her on the street that learned some stuff in prison from other thugs we don't know that but we know what they think by how they look how you appear on the outside is an indication of what you think of yourself on the inside so if you think of yourself as a is a bad b 
a 304, then you're going to dress like one. If you're going to think of yourself, I'm sexy, then you're going to dress sexy. But the problem is the black woman has thrown away their femininity. They don't know what sexy is anymore. They don't know what femininity is. And so everything is down to 304B and that's it. Now, let's look at this real quick. So that you can have a clear look. They had, she was looking so bad that they had to blur out two of her pictures. Understand this. For daytime TV, they blurred out two of her pictures for daytime TV. They hooked her up with this dude. Let's look at what this dude brings to the table. Let's look at what she brings to the table. The black woman. Single mom, so she's going to bring kids, and you're supposed to overlook that. She dressed for thugs. You're supposed to under overlook that she's been run through by so many thugs. It's ridiculous. All right? The only way she'll transform into a decent looking woman, a naturally looking woman, is if you bribe her with money or the possibility uh, for a man that she can use for resources. It's possible that she only dated thugs, been run through, uh, an embarrassment to family because you heard it from the mom and family and friends. This is what they set her up with, the Afro man, all right? Who has, he has to settle for garbage. But what he brings to the table, he's over six feet tall. He has a six pack. No doubt he has a six figure income because he was hand picked because of the, the big three that Black women say that a man, that an Afro-Indigenous man must be. A Caucasian man, he can have no legs, he could be a quadriplegic, and he could be broke. A, a lesbian woman, she could be fat, out of shape, shorter than her, and broke. Plus have children. Though a Caucasian man can have children. This is a requirement for black women that they have only for Afro-Indigenous men. Oh, he must not have children. Be sure that this man didn't have any children. And he had a good job. So you're going to saddle, saddle this man up with this type of woman. How is that fair to the man? Oh, you don't have to be fair, righteous, or just to the black man. That's why everybody gets to shoot us at will. That's why the black women has been warring on us for the past 60 years. 50 and 60 years but you know what usually eventually happens all right now y'all stay there they hugging already all right uh so listen you all go out enjoy yourself get to know each other this is really really a nice woman she really is very powerful what usually happens is you get fake simps that try to lift up a woman who really isn't nice really isn't worthy of any man except the baby's father all right and they set this woman up to have all the resources to exploit and rob from the man that did the hard work but you know what usually happens after this the wall that wall is coming up faster than the b-a-w think and when she runs into it there's going to be no help on the other side not even the simps because she's burning that bridge right now with the simps with that said i'm out